Hey, Bola Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have 23 big money bolos coming your way. These are items that I bought low and sold high. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. Um, all of these items did sell on eBay. I do sell on multiple platforms. Uh, most of my items are on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. I do a little bit of gray out, a little bit of Etsy, a little bit of Facebook. but um, I do use a, an extension. It's called List Perfectly to cross post my items. I start on eBay and then I cross post to the other platforms. That's how I do it. There's other ways you can do it. But if you want to see how that works and you want to make more money by getting on more platforms, because I always say there's different eyes on different platforms. Um, there is a link to a video down in the description that shows you how to do it, how I use it. And you can also, if you watch the video and you're like, this is something that I definitely need to try, you can use coupon referral code BOLO BUDDIES, all one word, to get 30% off your first month. So um, it's worth every penny, you guys. And I will say that I do sell lots of items on Mercari and Poshmark. So if you want to see some of those what sold videos, I do have those available on this channel. So um, it'll say like Mercari what sold or Poshmark what sold. So you can definitely check those out. And right now we're going to focus on eBay. And if you're not selling on eBay, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. That is my number one platform where I sell the most items, I should say. Um, is it my favorite? <laughs> I'm going to say yes because I sell the most. But um there are definitely perks to Mercari and Poshmark as well. If you're a new seller, I would say Poshmark and Mercari are easier platforms. But um, yeah, let's get started with these big money bolos. Um, all right, let's see. Pull that up. Okay. Um, again, those links are down in the description. So check out the links. Uh, lots of good info down there. All right, hopefully I'm getting a little thing that I'm having network con uh, connection issues. So I apologize if I'm a little fuzzy or anything. All right, let's start with the first item here. The first item, sorry, just a second. I know some of you hate when I do that. Eek. Okay, um, the first item is this Cabbage Patch Kids Love and Go Nursery Playset. You guys, believe it or not, I got this for 50 cents at a garage sale. Um, I also picked up Lisa Frank, vintage Lisa Frank at the same garage sale for 50 cents each. It was, it was a really good garage sale. I wish they would have had so much more in that box. Um, but I was very thankful for what I did get. I ended up selling this for $44 and 39 cents and the buyer paid shipping. It's from 1995. So it's like a little vintage play set, super cute little mini doll. The next item is awesome. Um, I actually did a hashtag shorts on this. Uh, so some of you of may have already seen this, but I picked this up at a garage sale for 25 cents, you guys. And um, it's just unbelievable what some of this vintage uh, nostalgia like items, people just want them and they will pay for them. I can't remember. I think this one might have went uh, internationally. But it was missing one of the stoppers. If it would have had the other stopper, I could have gotten even more for it. And I had tons of offers come in. I had somebody message me and tell me why I should sell it to them for their price. Um, and I was like, no. And then I got a full, full price that somebody bought it for full price. So I was glad that I declined because I knew that it was going to sell for a lot. This ended up selling for $112.50 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this vintage uh, Stene. I'm not sure really how to say it, you guys. It's a silk sequin bead cocktail dress. It's retro. It's from the 80s. It is embellished and beautiful. Um, just beaded all the way down. Amazing. I ended up selling this for $60. I picked it up at a garage sale for five and the buyer was all in for $67.95. All right, this Playmobil set, I ended up getting two of these from the same garage sale. They were new old stock, still sealed, you guys, from 1998. Uh, this one, I ended up taking a best offer of $65 for it, and it the buyer was all in for $74.05. I did pay $10 for this. 
The next item I picked up at a garage sale and actually I went to this garage sale last year and the lady had mentioned that she sold on eBay. So I was kind of like, am I going to find anything? And I did really good last year. So when I saw that she was having a sale again this year, I was like, I'm going to go back. And I ended up picking up this item for $1 and I sold it for 35 plus shipping. It's a Jim Henson Muppets Fozzie Bear ornament from 1979 and it is paper mache. So really cool piece. No clue why she didn't put it on eBay. Maybe she's getting out of eBay and it's just not doing it anymore. Who knows? But I was really excited to find this piece. The next item is this uh, vintage little people. Now I ended up taking a best offer of 50 on these and they're all wood. I don't know if maybe this guy here in the back brought the price up because he is different. Uh, condition is just really some of them not that great and it still sold for $50 plus shipping. So if anybody knows like is this why it sold for $50? Um, I mean, I did have it priced at 66. I took a best offer, but I don't know. I just thought maybe that guy was special. And then somebody in my Facebook group said they thought it was this guy. So I don't know. He must have been special. This Pokemon Pearl version, authentic Nintendo DSS, DS game. Um, I got this at a garage sale and I bought it with a game system. I think the whole thing was like $5. So I probably had a dollar in this game. Sold it for $45. The buyer was all in for $54.07. All right, you guys. So oh, I might have messed up on this. I bought 42 games. Um, PlayStation, Nintendo, Wii, DS, just a big lot. I did take one game out and sold it separately because I wanted to make some money back and I wasn't sure how this was going to go. I forgot to take pictures. I did the video, packed it up and forgot photos. So I just pulled some of these pictures from the actual um, uh, video that I did. So here's what I did. I did this as my main photo. I'm going to tell you that some of these games were in horrible shape. Um, so I decided to do a video showing the condition of the CDs. I figured that was the fairest way to do it. The video ended up being longer than um, I had hoped. Um, I just wanted it to be like a quick video, but it took a while to show really the detail of how bad the CDs were. I didn't want somebody to get these games and be disappointed. Some of them were excellent. Some of them were good. Some of them were not great at all. I don't even know if they were going to work. So I just marked them as untested. Um, maybe if somebody had one of those CD cleaners, that might have worked. Um, but all of these cartridge games, I'm sure, were fine. But it ended up selling for $46. Um, I thought that I could ship this media mail. And I was told that no, you cannot. Um, so I ended up shipping it priority mail. And I just ate the cost. So I kind of took a hit on this one, if I'm being completely honest, but I messed up and I do have a video on, I made a mistake. I think it's what it's called. It's over on my sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel. So if you want to hear more about that and learn a little bit, you can go check out that video. So kind of a want, want. So, uh, the next item I sold are these vintage stickers. Uh, they are puffy scratch and sniff stickers. Um, but these are actually called scrape and sniff. I wish I would have put scratch and sniff somewhere because people usually search that not scrape and sniff. I wonder if I would have got more bids. Hmm. Uh, the person that bought this actually sells stickers. So I don't know if they're a sticker collector and then they sell things as they get sick of them or if they're going to flip this for more money. I'm just not sure. I have checked their store once and I didn't see it, so they may be a collector. But I sold this for $49.99 with one bid. This came out of a vintage sticker haul. Uh, I bought a bag of stickers. I think it was $3. It was amazing. I have a video on it over on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel if you want to see what else I got. Just awesome, awesome find. Super excited about that one. Um, but yeah, 50 bucks for that. 
The next item is this vintage talking mother goose. Definitely a bolo item if it's in good condition and works. This one did not work, but I only paid a dollar for it. So I just listed it accordingly. I sold it super fast for $37.50. The buyer paid shipping. And when I say fast, it was like pretty quick. Um, less than a month. And for a parts or repair item, that's pretty good. This guy came from a garage sale. I paid $1 for it. Unfortunately, the little music button on the hand did not work any longer. And there's no spot to put batteries in. So I... I'm not sure if you can like unstitch it and stitch it back up to change the batteries, but either way, I knew it was a Bolo. Um, the Rebel reseller had just posted about one that she had sold. So I was super excited to find this after I saw her Instagram post. She is on Instagram and YouTube, the Rebel reseller. She's a Bolo finder. She has amazing items, awesome videos, what sold videos. So definitely go check her out. Um, but I sold this rabbit for $99.99 plus shipping. The next item I got at the thrift store in the free box, you guys. And I ended up selling these for $52 best offer and the buyer paid shipping. So these are old vintage frames. Um, I did show a picture of the back. There's more detail about um, each one. Like this one has writing. Maybe these didn't. But anyway, yeah, nice little free box find there. The next item came out of a mystery box. I was super excited to find this. It is incomplete for parts only. Um, I did Google Lens and I'm like, oh my goodness, I have a vintage Masters of the Universe item. So super exciting. Sold it for $49.99. One bid auction style buyer paid shipping. The next item are these Barbie books. Okay, lesson learned on this one, you guys. Um, Brandy from my reseller treasure. If you're not following her, definitely go and sub her up. She has an amazing channel. She is so knowledgeable about Barbies and toys and, um, she's a bolo finder, but she's kind of my go-to for Barbie stuff. Um, she helps me out from time to time. And I messaged her about this. I'm like, Hey, somebody just offered me like $65 out of the gate for these. I mean, should I take it? Like what's going on? And she ended up doing some research on it and getting back to me. And apparently certain ones have certain outfits in them and are highly collectible. And these bottom three were not in great condition. This one didn't have the cover. Uh, this middle one, I guess is kind of sought after, but I didn't get back to the person who made the offer for 65 fast enough and somebody placed a bid on it. I think I started it at $24.99. So unfortunately, um, I lost 20 bucks on this because I was not quick enough to accept the offer. Uh, that's okay. I still, I, I picked this up with something else. Uh, I was actually buying the other item. And these were just in the box. So it was kind of a bonus. I didn't really pay anything for it. But I sure would have liked to have had 65. What would have been even better is if I would have done my research, more in-depth research, and figured out what made each book special before I listed it as a lot, I probably would have made a lot more money. So lesson learned. Um, I told Brandy over at My Reseller Treasure that she should do a video on it and teach us all um, I don't know if she's going to do that or not, but definitely go give her a follow. The next item I sold is this Fisher Price Think and Learn Coda Pillar. I picked this up at a garage sale for $6. It sold in less than 24 hours for $56.25 and the buyer paid shipping. So they were all in for $79.34. The funny thing is, is I found one the same day this sold, I found another one. So I need to get it listed still, but it's smaller but I'm guessing it'll still be a good 30 or 40 bucks. So definitely be on the lookout for these. And if you want to know how it works, I do have a video over on my reseller testing products channel, my other YouTube channel. Okay. So I picked these up at a garage sale for $3. I just thought they were kind of interesting. They're Rapallo leather thong flat sandals, size eight made in Italy. And I sold these for $37 and 50 cents in the buyer paid shipping. This is so cute. It's a vintage promise puppy and it's got a Bible scripture on the belly. 
I could not find anything like this. I listed it at $65, had a 25% off sale going. I really feel like I could have held out for the full amount just because it's so rare. Um, I don't know. Let's see. It says promise puppy. I was like, did somebody just put the patch on it? I think it really came this way. Um, but it's so, so cute and definitely a hard to find item. I picked it up at a garage sale for a dollar and I ended up taking a best offer of 35 plus shipping. The next item is this Playmobil set. Um, I showed you the one, other one earlier. This one I paid 15 for and it sold for $150 plus shipping. This set is a little bit bigger. It's from 1998 also. Could not believe my eyes when I saw it. I love selling Fisher Price loving family items. I say that and I have like a tote and three bags full in my basement to list that I never seem to get to, but I really like to buy it. <laughs> I like to buy it and hold it. Oh my goodness. But this one was new with tags. And like I said, I just couldn't believe it. Paid $5 for it, sold it for um, $85 and the buyer paid shipping. I don't know why I have 85 and it says 82.50. Hmm. That's weird because I looked, maybe I wrote it down wrong. Okay. So we'll just say 82.50 plus shipping. The next item I sold is this snowman playing the piano Hallmark. And again, oh, I didn't put a, I must have forgot to do a video on that one. I usually do videos. Why didn't I do a video or did I do the video and forget to attach it? Oh, I don't know. But either way, it sold for $40 and the buyer paid the shipping. And I got that at a garage sale for five bucks. I got that at the same garage sale that I got the vintage hair things. Isn't it funny how sometimes you're like, I know which sale I got that at and what else I bought at it. Next item is this Uno Hearts. It's rare. The cards are still sealed. It's from 1994. I picked this up in a mystery box, uh, a thrift store mystery box. And I sold this for $37.50 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item, I love this item. It's an African hand carved wood 12 piece nativity set. It's rare. It's hard to find. I couldn't find one exactly like it. Um, I picked this up at a thrift store for $4 and I just had a feeling about it. Uh, I took a best offer of $130. It sold pretty quickly and the buyer was all in for $153.09. All right, you guys, that was 23 big money bolos. Let me know what your favorite bolo item was. Um, Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Again, highly recommend you check out List Perfectly if you're looking to grow your reselling business and get on more platforms because it is super fast and your items will be cross-posted quickly. All right, you guys, thanks for being here. Check out the video description for more uh, links to like my Instagram, my Facebook, uh, my other YouTube channels, and all of that good stuff. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching.